Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite photos that I've taken over the last 20 years or so. Uh, it's this one which I call the Road Home uh, and it's taken um, at Shanghai Railway Station. Railway stations are always a really really good place to take photos, um, street photos. There's always lots of interesting characters uh, and lots of stories behind those characters. On this particular day I was just walking around with the camera and very importantly um, I wasn't using a digital SLR or any digital camera of any kind. Uh, I was actually using this uh, 63 year old Roloflex f3.5 E3. So it's from around 1960. It still uses film and it still works perfectly today. One reason why, well a few reasons why this is a really good camera to use for street photography. The first one is that um, because you normally Hold, hold it at waist level and you look down uh, when you focus and when you take the picture it's a lot less obvious to the subject that you're taking their photo uh, so they're not, they're not really aware of the fact that you're taking their photo in most cases but another reason is um, you know especially in China but probably in many other places too uh, when you use uh, any kind of digital camera like this one for example you, you know you hold the camera up to your eye as soon as you do that people start to get a bit nervous they wonder why are you taking my picture what's your motive behind that uh, and I think when you're using one of these um, 63 year old cameras people are a lot more relaxed because they know that um, you have no sinister intentions because if you did you wouldn't be using a camera that was so inconvenient to use uh, you just use your phone or a digital camera so they're a lot more relaxed and I think you can see that in the picture all these guys are really relaxed happy to be going home, uh, they're just uh, waiting for their train I presume um, and also my presence hasn't in any way affected them at all, they're not suddenly becoming nervous, you can see they're smiling and they're relaxed and they're happy even knowing that I'm taking their photo. Um, so this is a, a common thing that in big cities like Shanghai, Beijing, Guangzhou in China, um, people from rural areas or sort of less affluent areas will come to these big cities to um, get jobs which are they can earn a lot more money in big cities like Shanghai than they can in their hometowns and often it will be for quite long periods of time they'll be away from their families um, and um, and they'll but they'll earn a lot of money to send back to support their families back home um, and I think this is exactly what the situation is with these guys um, they're you know they're finally going home they're happy to be seeing their families again soon um, and that's why they're all sort of happy and relaxed so I really like this picture which I think tells a story um, and a story that although it was taken in uh, the summer of 2006 um, I think it's not something that is any very much different to today we still have um, people coming from uh, the rural areas or the smaller towns to the big cities to try and uh, earn their earn their living and support their families so it's as as relevant you could say today as it is in uh, you know as it was in 2006 um, okay so I hope that's um, helped you to understand uh, the background to that photo um, if you'd like to see more of these please do like and subscribe to the channel I will be doing a lot more videos on a lot more different photos that I've taken some of them from many years ago um, and some of them more recently because I'm still taking pictures every day uh, with my cameras um, and I'll, I'll mix it up a bit to show some old ones and some new ones um, and um, please let me know um, what you think about the photo um, and any any tips you might have on how it could be you know improved if you do I'm always happy to learn more not just to to share my experiences with you Okay, so that's it from, for today. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, thanks very much for watching.